I left off telling you guys how I go about uh, getting these small screwdrivers out into the field. Um, after the driver has been sharpened to a point, of course you don't want to put it back into your backpack or your duffel bag because you don't want to punt. You do not want to puncture your bag. Uh, what I use for that is one and a half inch diameter T pipe. And the reason I use this T-pipe is because it's a thin wall PVC. It's very light to carry. Um, comes in assorted lengths from 6 inches. I've seen them as long as 12 inches. And uh, you can, you know, cut it to size. Cut it to the length that you want. And for you guys that don't have access to a belt sander, you can just take a piece of sandpaper and some masking tape and tape the sandpaper down to a piece of glass like I got right here. So after you cut your pipe, if you uh, didn't get a nice straight cut on the pipe, you can just run a pipe on the sandpaper until you get it nice and flush. Uh, for the ends of the pipe, I use a one inch plug. And the one inch plug makes a nice seal. This is what the pipe looks like after I got it finished. And this is what the plug looks like after it's on. That's how much of the plug I cut off of the pipe so I can save uh, space inside of the pipe. I tell you guys, these come in very handy if you carry Allen wrenches for your takedown recurve bowls and your compound bowls. It's a very cheap item to make. It probably costs set your back maybe five or six bucks. And uh, for the end cap, to hold the end cap in place, I use braided elastic. And I just uh, tied three millimeter diamond nylon rope around the braided elastic after I super glued it on the sides and after you have your allen wrenches in there or your little miniature screwdrivers you can attach it you know directly to your belt loop uh, when I go out in the field I use uh, two I clip in two points you know, you don't want to have it hanging down, you know, just on one side of your leg unless you're going to uh, local range uh, with just your Allen wrenches. Um, here, if I'm going out in the backyard and I'm going to do some stump shooting, I'll just clip it in one point. And I always keep the end cap uh, with the elastic towards the small of my back. And for you guys that have extra pairs of BDUs laying around, uh, there's a special length of pipe that you want, and uh, you got a pair of BDUs that don't fit you, take you, you know, 10 minutes to cut off a belt loop, and then just re sew the belt loop onto your pants so that you can attach your own personal one and a half inch diameter tube. Um, yes, uh, this is you know quite a bit of space uh, inside of there, and uh, you can make a real nice little miniature survival kit that you will always have with you, and uh, give you a second chance of staying alive in case you do forget your miniature survival kit back in your backpack or in your vehicle. Uh, the other question I had was. Uh, for keeping the covers for microfilm canisters tight. Uh, here again, um, I use uh, braided elastic. Um, and this stuff costs like less than a dollar. You can pick it up at most craft stores and for less than a buck you get like three yards. And it's the best thing that I found um, for holding these covers in place. Uh, that way you don't you know, lose the covers in the grass and lose them in the snow. Um, and I hope that answers your question. But really, you know, they stay, the caps themselves stay pretty tight for the most part, but they they can pop off on you if you do have them in a crowded pack. 
but there again, the elastic just helps keep them keep them on there. And I hope this little video, you know, answers your questions. And thanks for watching.